Hello guys, welcome back to Archive Ryzen. In this video, I'm gonna compare about Enya Exuvia Synergy Effectiveness with Cherno Enigma, Life of Wild Hunt, and Chunsing Arterial Clark. For this comparison, the main DPS state is Level XT, Manifestation 3, Signature Weapon Tier 1, All Logistic Level 15, 40% Total Attack% percent Talent, and 11.8% Total Elemental Damage Talent from the third talent. And the logistic squad for each main DPS is their recommended logistic squad. Well, I know Amano Iwato squad is better for Life of Wild Hunt and Chunsing Ethereal Cloud, but let's just go with their recommended logistic squad first. While for Enya Exuvia stat, she is level 80, Manifestation 2, Signature Weapon Tier 1, Logistic Level 1, and let's say none of the logistic talent is useful for her. So here is Exuvia overall stat. And for this DPS comparison, I calculate using DPS calculator made by the legend Pep Penguin and some manual calculation from me. From here, you can see that the damage improvement provided by Enya to Life of Wild Hunt are lower than Enya can provide to Cherno Enigma. It's pretty obvious that due to the skill DPS contribution to the total DPS in Cherno Enigma are very high, it's about 75%. So if you buff her skill damage, that can significantly increase the total DPS output Cherno can deal. While Life of Wild Hunt's skill DPS contribution to the total DPS is a little bit lower than her shooting damage. So if you buff her skill damage, that won't give much improvement to the total DPS output Wild Hunt can deal. You can see the differentiation more clearly in Chunsing Arterial Cloud part. When against single target, you can see that the skill contribution to the total DPS is very low. So Exuvia's skill buff to Chunsing will only provide a small improvement to Chunsing total DPS. However, when against 5 targets, for example Spider Mech or 7 target, for example Hela, you will notice that the skill DPS contribution can surpass the shooting DPS contribution to the total DPS. So Enya Exuvia skill buff on Chunsing when against 5 target or 7 target enemies can become a significant improvement to Chunsing's total DPS. But this one haven't include Enya support skill sustain DPS. Here is what happen when Enya Exuvia sustain DPS is included. Yep, overall Enya Exuvia synergy effectiveness almost the same for 3 of them. Where the gap is quite small between the raw DPS and after buff DPS. Why? Between these three characters, you can see that their capabilities to utilize Enya Exuvia support skill is quite different. Eiffel Wild Hunt can utilize the highest damage out of Enya support skill due to her weapon fire rate is very fast and have a lot of ammo capacity. While Cherno Enigma is the second, her weapon is indeed very good to stack up the natural order, but her skill hit rate is 2 times per second, become the hindrance to maximally utilize Enya support skill. On the other hand, Chen Xing's signature weapon has low fire rate and low ammo capacity that can slow down her natural order stacking speed and reload her weapon more frequently that can highly reduce Enya support skill DPS. Due to every time Chen Xing reload her weapon, Enya support skill will stop dealing damage. So Chen Xing has two hindrances that come from slow stacking speed and frequent weapon reloading. On the other hand, Cherno has one hindrance that come from slow skill hit rate. Meanwhile, while hunt fire rate, weapon reloading frequency, and skill hit rate are more or less better than both of them. Even though C also can't meet the consumption per hit required by Enya support skill in Manifestation 1, just like Chunsing Arterial Cloud do. In summary, Enya improvement to 3 of them are almost the same. In the end, it will depend on each operative total DPS, where if you compare their DPS to Cherno Enigma DPS, you can see that Life of Wild Hunt have 28.5% gap, Chunsing against one single target is the lowest, while chancing against 5 or 7 target almost in par with Enigma DPS if you manage to constantly shooting at the enemy weak spot. 
Chen Xing sustained weak spot DPS is very high due to her manifestation tree can provide some crit damage amplifier that can increase both of her shooting damage and standard skill damage every time you dealing crit damage. The conclusion is, in terms of any synergy effectiveness to that three DPS operative, R only have small gap, which means she is highly synergy with three of them. Lifeo while Han get the highest benefit from Anya buff, Chen Xing is the second, while Cherno is the third. If you are wondering why Cherno has the lowest percentage, even though her skill DPS can contribute the largest amount of DPS to her total DPS, that is because the skill damage taken from Anya's signature weapon is taking additively with Cherno's signature weapon DOT damage taken. While for other operative, the 24% skill damage taken from Anya's signature weapon means 24% improvement to the skill damage. Also, when chancing against single target has the second highest effectiveness, it's mostly due to Anya support skill DPS. So it's not really worth it because chancing Ethereal Cloud is not really that recommended when against single target enemy in the first place. But if you refer to their DPS output percentage comparison after getting buff, the highest will be chancing when against 7 target enemy if you constantly shooting at the enemy weak spot, and the second will be Cherno Enigma, the third will be chancing against 5 target enemy if you constantly shooting at the enemy weak spot, the fourth will be Lifeo Wild Hunt, and the last will be chancing against single target enemy. Before you start asking about what if Lifeo Wild Hunt and Chen Xing are using Amano Iwato squad, here is the answer. When ignoring Anya support skill DPS, you can clearly see Life of Wild Hunt when equipped with Amano Iwato squad getting buffed by Anya, the effectiveness will be decreased, and the total DPS output Wild Hunt can deal will also decrease, due to Amano Iwato squad's strongest point is in the shooting damage, while Anya is a skill focused buffer. The improvement Anya can provide will be decreased, so even with Anya DPS included, Wahan total DPS when using Amano Iwato squad will lose against Table squad. In the other hand, because Chen Xing standard skill are based on her shooting damage, by using Amano Iwato squad will increase both of her shooting damage and skill damage simultaneously. So the improvement Anya can provide to Chen Xing will also increase. Where the total DPS gap if we compare with Cherno Enigma will increase from 4% gap to 14% gap. That was a large improvement. So if you want to team up Lifeo Wahan or Chen Xing with Anya, for Lifeo Wahan, it is better to use Tebe squad instead of Amano Iwato squad. While for Chen Xing Ethereal Cloud, by using Amano Iwato squad can improve her total DPS by 10%. I think that's all from me. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Cheers.